done, though. The title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he steps towards his cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion. But this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid Solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and the same reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge herb dean and now this is the moment ufc fans around the world have been waiting for live from the sold out bell center in montreal quebec canada it's time for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the challenger, And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Daniel D.C. Parmian! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, yeah. here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Let's go. Get on Nice punch there by Cormier. Blocks that kick to the body. Nice hook. Able to thwart the single leg. Takedown attempt there. Oh, tagged him. These guys throwing early. He's fainting with that punch. Showing that punch. Just misses with the straight right. Excellent takedown defense. Nice jab there by Cormier. Oh, there it is, there it is. 
Straight right hand, no good. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. That one hurts. in the clinch. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Cormier's punch to the body. That one is blocked. Trip him, trip him, trip him. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Trip. Go for the trip. Got double underhooks. First takedown attempt is there. Two minutes to go in round one. He's in half guard. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Nice punch to the body. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's gonna try to take it back, I think. And he winds up on top. Back to full guard. Under a minute now to go in the round. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Just missed with the left there. Blocked by Daniel. Jab by Cormier. Just misses with the punch by Nermago Meta. Keep your hands up, boys. Come on now. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Nice one-two combination there. Ah, ah, stop. Have a seat, have a seat. Listen, I want you to pay attention. We got this fight in control. You took a couple of punches. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. Good to have Brazil's Jenny Andrade in the building here. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, round two. All right, so second round underway. A little bit of a feeling out process, I guess, in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe, but your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five minutes. Oh, he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Cormier. Come on, man, I need more. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Cormier gets the double leg -like takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Looking to pass. Here's the mission control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Good elbow to the body there. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by DC. Working from the mounted crucifix. Oh, oh man. man, that is rough. Back to side control. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's moved back into side control. Cormier gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Under two minutes to go in our second round. Side control again. 
He's looking to work that mounted crucifix. He's pounding him. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. Lands a good shot from the bottom. He's established mounted crucifix. Cormier's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. He got tagged there. Going for an arm bar now. A lot of pressure on that arm. Any second now, he might have to tap. That arm bar is very, very deep. That's it. And there That's it. Is. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he was going to stop at nothing to leave the judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on getting the win and getting it by submission. And you saw him in hot pursuit of it much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. Then there was an opening there late, largely caused by a beautiful setup, and the submission comes late in the round. High-level stuff there. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar. And new! Undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mermago Meta. So how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion. And he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight. He submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner. And this is just an amazing moment for fighter and coach and team. The celebration is on for the new UFC heavyweight champion.